Yoga Flavor Interviews at the Yoga Journal New York City Conference. Hi, I'm Robin Downs and I'm here with Faith Hunter and we're both yoga instructors. And I wanted to ask you, Faith, what about yoga do you think is so scary to the black and African American community? So first, thank you, Robin for inviting me to do this interview. I'm excited to share this with Elevate. And when, it, when I think about the African-American community, I think about my own personal practice. Started making that transition, my mom started asking me questions. She was like, what is this about? What are you doing? But also, why? Um, and she was really fearful because she thought maybe I wasn't going to be a Southern Baptist Christian anymore because she That's felt, a big issue yeah. with Christians. So how did yeah. you address that? So the way that I had to do this, I really had to explain to her, one, this is how this practice is making me feel. And two, this is how this practice is actually bringing me back to my connection with spirituality. Because it's making me feel a lot better about myself. Um, it's definitely improving my overall health but my mental state. And so I also tried to help her connect to how she experiences her, her meditation practice, her prayer in her church and how I could relate that to my meditation practice, my personal prayers that I say when I'm actually in yoga class. What I teach is simply to state the truth, and the truth is that yoga is not a religion. And to stay away from arguments or um, discussions about, you know, well, the deities mean this, and the chanting means that, but keep it simple, yoga is not a religion. And to present the healing benefits of yoga, right. and to present testaments and praise for how it's changed the lives of our people. So to look to get people to step up and say, hey, this worked for me, you know, rather than to, to begin a battle. You know, and I, to me, anytime you discuss religion, it's an uphill battle. So I, I mentioned in the workshop, I said. We have a spiritual base through our prayer, through our song. I mean, listen to those gospel songs. Those are huge mantras. Um, uh, perspective or person, very few people recognize the origins of yoga in Egypt and in Africa as well. And I think that because of that disconnection, then we have a disconnection from our soul, a disconnection from the possibilities of healing from the inside out, and a disconnection from being able to elevate in higher levels.